Hello, in this video I will explain how to implement Visual Feedback Servoin in Copelesim. Specifically, I will focus on the implementation aspects of the Kinematic Controller using an image-based method, while in the previous video we saw how to implement uh, all those aspects related with the object detection. As you can see, this presentation has many objectives to achieve, First, I will review the conceptual framework of Robot Visual Servoin using a, uh, a control diagram. Later, I will explain how to obtain features and make correspondence with those obtained uh, with a reference image in order to compute an error uh, to be minimized. Then, I will explain how to compute the interaction matrix and how to obtain the transformation between the camera and the end effector and we will also see uh, a brief overview about the variables and functions that I use to, in order to compute the robot kinematics. And some uh, rotational in the end, uh, I will explain how to implement the robot visual servoin and we will um, see some rotational and translational examples. This diagram represents the required robot visual uh, servoin control structure. We need a reference image. This is a set of uh, reference features as ref and a list of features colors information about the reference features. On the other hand, an image processing method will uh, uh, provide us a list with the detected characteristics with their corresponding colors on actual images. With all this information, we need to compute an error between the features. In this case, I use a color, I use color data uh, to make the correspondence. This error is defined in the image plane and, for this reason, we use differential kinematics as well as the transformation between the final end effector and the camera and the interaction matrix. So we can relate velocities in the image plane with joint velocities. A proportional controller is responsible for determining the actual joint velocities so that the error converges to zero using the zero inverse of the Jacobian. Since it is a kinematic simulation, these velocities will be integrated over time to determine the new joint positions that will ultimately move the end effector to a new position from where we can take a new image. In this presentation, I will assume that you already have completed all necessary steps to detect objects on images. In the previous video, I explained how to implement this process using a vision sensor in Copilisim and as a result, we will be able to get a list of features and their colors that will be used as reference values. Using this image processing algorithm, we will be able to detect features from actual images, so the idea is to use them, or to use the function blob 3D points on every simulation step, and uh, this is a function that I explained in, uh, in the previous video, that will return in the end a list of features and a list of colors with, uh, with, with or a list of uh, colors with uh, of the features. In order to compute the error between the detected features and the reference features, we must establish a prior correspondence between them. For this reason, when detecting objects, we also detect the colors in addition to the features position. For uh, the, the correspondence is then using the color data using one of the simplest possible methods, a nearest neighbor approach. Obviously, there are other robust or there are the other methods more robust in computer vision, but since this is not a part of our problem statement, I prefer to keep it simple here. However, in a real life application, is this might be a key step. Thus, correspondence is implemented by determining the closest point in the RGB color space. As I said, I am aware that this is not the most appropriate uh, uh, approach, but uh, this is one of the simplest ones and it's robust enough to work for the problem that I am trying to solve here. The error in the feature is a vector with twice as many elements as the number of features we have detected. Since the error vector includes errors in x and y coordinates of each feature in a column form. For the example shown, the vector or the error vector is a vector with uh, eight elements. So in order to compute the elements of this vector, we must subtract the elements of 
the list of detected features and subtract them uh, with the list of or with the elements of the list of the reference features, index it accordingly with the, or to the, the correspondence list. This is what I have coded here and in the examples uh, at the end of the video you will see that the norm of this error tends to zero. The interaction matrix relates the velocities of the features in the image plane to linear and angular velocities of the camera reference frame. This matrix therefore has as many rows as twice of detected features and six columns, corresponding to the three linear velocities and the three angular velocities in a 3D space. The matrix is computed from the detected features, but as we, we saw in a previous or a specific video about a robot visual servoing technique, a IVS, uh, it also, it, or it is also convenient to use the reference features of, uh, uh, in order to compute uh, um, the interaction matrix. So this, uh, in the end, we take the average of both uh, matrices and return this as an output argument of, of the function. As input argument uh, of this function, uh, this, uh, I include here the list of uh, measure features, the reference features and also the list of the correspondence. The camera is attached to the last link of the robot, however, the reference system uh, of the camera and the end effector, they do not have to be coincident. In this case, even if they are close, uh, it is convenient to compute the transformation between them so that we can compute the relation between the linear and angular velocities using classic maths for 3D motion. In particular, we need to compute uh, as you can see here, or we use uh, the, the 3D motion maths that translate linear angular velocities from one reference frame into another reference frame. In order to compute forward and differential kinematics, we must properly set up Copilla Sin and the SimAK plugin. This is something again that we have already seen in a previous video, where I have explained how to configure the SimAK plugin so we can use it for computed. Uh, robot kinematics, we, we also implement for tracking trajectories and so on. Here I include the names of the variables, you should be already familiar by now with those names, and these uh, are associated with the specific implementation of the robot kinematics. I also have included here the names of the functions that allow us to compute such kinematics that will be obviously used in the image-based uh, kinematic controller such as the getAN, getJacob and akdh functions. Kinematic control with visual feedback would consist of suitably combine all these elements that we have previously seen. We must obtain a set of features and compare them with reference ones and compute the error between them. Before that, we should have established a correspondence between them. We must also compute the robot Jacobian, but please bear in mind that the Jacobian return by Copilla Sim is the Jacobian with respect to the robot base, but we need the Jacobian with respect to the end effector. We just need to perform a simple linear transformation so that the Jacobian is multiplied with a blockwise diagonal matrix with the rotation matrix between the end effector and the robot base. On the other hand, we must have computed as well, uh, or we, we should compute as well, the transformation between the end effector and the camera. This transformation is constant and can be done in the initialization of your script, and therefore it can be just simply computed once. The interaction matrix it's computed from features, uh, or, uh, from measurement features, and uh, reference features. Uh, the result all of all these calculations is a Jacobian matrix JC that represents the variation of the position of features in the image planes as a consequence of variations of the joints. A proportional control based on the pseudo inverse of the Jacobian matrix will allow us to obtain joint speeds that would make the error to converge to zero. Due to non-linearities, this is not always true but, as we will see in the examples, we will see that the, the control is quite robust, particularly if we are able to solve the correspondence problem. 
In the syscall actuation function, we can implement the integrator that will allow us to determine the new positions of the joints that the robot must have on their velocities. But remember that we have to set the joints, the position of the joints in the Copilus Sim Sim objects, but as well in the SimIK objects. In this first example, we are going to see a case in which the robot must perform a rotation of the last joint. This is a 125 rotation with respect to the reference configuration, which is quite a lot. As it can be seen, the robot is capable of solving the problem posed. The configuration reach doesn't have to coincide with the reference one, since this is a redundant robot with 7 degrees of freedom, but as it can be seen, the logarithm of the error decreases practically linear to a point where the error magnitude is due to quantization errors. In this second example, I have positioned the robot so that the camera is translated, but the orientation of the camera is the correct one. So let's see how it works. Once again, it is observed that how the robot is uh, capable of solving the problem. In this case, uh, it moves the camera, but also has a small rotation and in inclination that it's being corrected until we reach the error close to the noise level. And in this third example, uh, I have moved the robot so that the axis must perform a simultaneous translation and rotation. Specifically, the image is rotated 90 degrees, but it, it also has some displacement, so we uh, detect the uh, the, the, the blobs or the objects at the left uh, lower uh, bottom left uh, corner of the image. So let's see how it works. Again, it can be seen that despite of the difficulty of the problem, the IBBS algorithm is capable of solving this, this situation, moving the camera to a configuration where the error is very, very small. Well, in this presentation I have explained how to implement the kinematic controller for robot visual servoid in Copilesim. Thank you very much.